Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Standard adjustable spanner wrench will not accommodate the wide expanse of the contact points of the Schneider fisheye lens. This creates a problem in removing the front lens element. A suitable substitute for this task is a sliding caliper ruler. Using the jaws for measuring inner dimensions, set them so that they are at the proper spanner distance. With extreme care, position the points of the jaws in the spanner holes of the retainer. Then, with constant, steady, firm downward pressure, spin the lens clockwise and your makeshift spanner counterclockwise until the retainer spins free. The downward pressure can be decreased as the retainer reaches the end of its threads. Invert the lens and let it rest in the palm of your hand and let gravity do the rest. Check out the replacement element available from Schneider. Once satisfied that it is dust and smudge free, carefully seat it into its new home. Using light, even pressure, start the threads of the retainer. Tighten as far as you can with just your fingertips. Once the retainer is finger tight, it's time to grab your makeshift spanner wrench. With spanner wrench in hand, hold your breath and proceed forward with great care. You don't want to damage the retainer, the lens, or your calipers. One slip would be disastrous. Just past snug is tight enough. Don't try to over tighten it. Back in business. A cool, fun lens. Thank you for watching.